What's going on guys? It's Rated here. Welcome back to the channel today. I have you guys a brand new video. This is going to be on everything that's been updated within Call of Duty World War 2. The patch has just hit and I'm going to be informing you guys what has been added and what has been removed within this game. Just before we get into this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. It's ebonus.gg. What their website is, it allows users to go ahead and complete tasks by watching videos, installing apps or even playing games. You get coins for that and you can actually trade it for gift cards, Steam wallet cards, or even PayPal money. So go ahead, check that out down in the description below. Click the first link and then you'll be entered on their site. Go ahead and do that as I am going to be giving away a few gift cards on this video for those who go ahead and do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And with that said, let's begin. So as we know right now the patch has now been released and there's a few things that have been fixed and added within the game. I'm going to be starting the list off here which has been map exploit fixes. So we all know that point to hook jump glitch where you can simply jump in an invincibility glitch and get a V2 rocket for doing absolute shit all. We already know that that's now been fixed and it's no longer working. I guess this is probably to do with other maps as well such as the one on St. Mary Dumont and probably even the headquarters glitch which does suck but I'll have to wait and test that out myself and see if it does work or not. There's also been UI improvements to the game such as UI stacking methods to go ahead and get master prestige for doing absolute nothing. Also they have fixed issues within parties and also the connectivity optimization. That's pretty much saying that headquarters should now be getting populated again and if for some reason it isn't populated anymore and you guys cannot seem to get in a populated headquarters let me know down in the comment section below because I have a method that you can actually get in a headquarters mode 100% with 48 players within it. 100% of the time so if you guys would like to see that video leave a comment down below and also smash a like on this video but right now like I did say it should be working if not let me know uh, they've also adjusted a few weapons in this game one of them being the bar they have increased the recoil to this gun we already know previous patch they did actually reduce the fire rate but now they have increased the recoil so I'm pretty sure this weapon isn't going to be that good anymore not as good as it is in the gameplay because this gameplay is quite old this was pre-patch and I have to say this weapon absolute shreds they have also reduced the flinch reduction within the primed basic training. We know that primed was literally a must have in this game and they have in fact actually now fixed it. The primed basic training isn't going to be that crucial to running on your classes anymore. So go ahead and swap that out for a different basic training if you guys want to compensate for that tiny bit of flinch when getting shot at. They have also fixed the snake and exploit that was from crouching and proning repeatedly where literally it was invincible and people couldn't kill you. Literally they have now fixed that and I'm glad they fixed it because I didn't really see too many people do it but when they did do it it was rather annoying and it wasn't really that easy to kill them. Now the last one that I have here is they've actually fixed an important bug with the smoke grenade. I'm not entirely sure what bug this was. I never had a problem with the smoke grenades. I just used them on war to go ahead and build the bridge on Operation Breakout and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure what they fixed but I'd like to know more on that. Now the reason you guys probably clicked on this video is because you're wondering is there DLC weapons within this game right now as of this update. I'm not entirely sure but there are weapons that are supposed to be in this update such as the Gua, the Arasaka and also the Ice Pick. But I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be coming in this update as there has been no official information on them right now. But there has been information that we are going to be getting a brand new game mode on December the 8th which is called Winter Siege. It's going to be an event and I do guess that the ice pick is going to be included in this update. Purely because it's a winter event and it does say on the definition of using the ice pick it says that you can actually break through walls and surfaces using the pickaxe. So I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be adding it in this update so we can go ahead and use it a little while until this update on December the 8th is released but I guess we'll have to find out a bit more. If you guys do seem to go ahead and actually unlock a DLC weapon let me know down in the comment section below. Tweet me over on Twitter if you guys get any of the new weapons. That would be great and I will post a video here on the channel actually crediting you guys and give you guys a shout out. And of course if you like a shout out in the next video go ahead and try and get first. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. But that's all I've got for you guys in this video. Like I did say check out ebonus.gg down in the description below. Click the first link and try it out as you guys can possibly get these DLC weapons for completely free. But other than that I hope you guys have a great day. Check out my previous videos on screen right now but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.